Hey guys, here we go. It is DL11 3D Shapes Volume and Vocabulary. Woohoo! And remember, I'm counting on you using this video intelligently. You will go as quickly as you like or pause and rewind and take as long as you need to make sure you understand everything I give you. Okay, first thing we need to remember is to understand area is a measure of 2D space. So if I had a square, that square, this area that I have shaded is my area of that square. That's the area. It is a measure of 2D space. And when we units, when we measure the units for area, they are always going to be squared. Because to measure area, you do base times height, or you're measuring two different dimensions, dimension one, and there is dimension two, which means you have units times units equals units squared. So it'll be centimeters times centimeters equals centimeters squared. And we call those squared units or units squared, or we write them as units squared or centimeters squared or meters squared or feet squared or hectares squared. There you go. So there's our area and then we have our units for area. Now when you start measuring um, space that is taken up when you have volume, that is the space filled by a 3D shape. So that is three dimensional space. So let's say I have my square and there's the area of my square but now it's in three dimensions which means it has three dimensions. There is my square in three dimensions. It's more like a rectangle there, I'm sorry. So there's my square put into three dimensions. Now it is all this space that is filled up. That is three dimensional space. So again, my units are going to be, you guessed it, cubed. So it will be units cubed or cubic units, because we like to be fancy with our language, or just units to the power of three, because it's like saying when we measured the base, the volume of something, we'll talk about the base times the width times the height. So that's gonna be units times units times units will equal units cubed or centimeters times centimeters times centimeters equals centimeters cubed. And that's just talking about the way that we use the language for those things. Um, then I wanna just talk about a couple of shapes that we're gonna be working with. We're gonna work with a cube. It's very easy to use the wrong language with this, so I will try and be very precise. A cube in everyday language is basically a 3D square. That's roughly what it equals, because if you have, I'll try and draw it more accurately now, there is my cube, my square, and then if it is in three dimensions, it will look something like this. That is called a cube because it has equal, equal sides. It has to have equal sides and it is in three dimensions. Now, when, then we have what we call prisms and a prism is basically a 3D shape. It's going to be a polygon or other uniform shape. Actually, it should be a 3D polygon before I go getting oversimplified. So when I have my rectangle, I, obviously this can't be a cube because it's got one side, two sides are longer than the other two. So when I turn those into a 3D shape, these are, this is actually a rectangular prism. So you could actually say a cube is a square prism, um, but we just call it a cube and a rectangular prism. All of this space inside is the volume of it. That is a rectangular. Okie doke, are we all Gucci? And here is your screenshot of my definitions. I hope yours is much more beautiful.